hello hello dear viewers welcome to our channel it's very good to have you here in this video we will be looking at comparison of starter motor current draw with load variation we will be using this starter motor to test the current draw at different loading conditions and we will be using 12 volt battery supply this is the loading mechanism let me remove it and show you how it operates You can see there is a friction material here, there is a friction disc. This friction disc is held to the flywheel. This is the flywheel that will engage the starter motor. So the starter motor will be driving that. And there is a collar. This is a pressure plate that is holding this from rotating. This will be pivoted here. It will be prevented to rotate because that pin will be inserted in here. The pin, this pin will prevent this from rotation. So we will be pressing this hard, pressing it hard on the friction material as we tighten this assembly. So when we tighten this, we will be increasing load on the flywheel. Now the flywheel is free to rotate, as you can see, it is free to rotate. But when this is fixed, when this is fixed, it will be difficult to rotate. So by varying the load that is applied to the flywheel, we will see the change in the current draw of the starter motor. That way you can clearly understand the variation on current draw when performing no load test and load test on a starter motor. Let's begin by making it free. Now it is free. Let's do the connection and uh, then we'll hook it up and see the current draw. Let's connect battery. This is battery positive. This is battery negative. Let's read battery voltage by connecting the voltmeter in parallel. This reading 12.36 is a little low. And we will be we will be connecting a meter to this system. Now let's see how the current flows. Here is a battery positive comes from the battery positive and it goes to the current reading mechanism here we have a current signal picking mechanism we'll be using this ammeter for the test let's connect this on here here we have a ammeter reader so current will be displayed on this display well, it needs a little calibration. I will do that in a minute. And from the current reading mechanism, battery positive will be supplied to the solenoid switch. Here is terminal 30 of the solenoid switch. As you can see, battery positive is supplied in such a manner. And then for operating the starter motor, we have a push button switch here. That will power terminal 50 of the starter motor. Here, terminal 50 is powered by the push button. And the battery ground is connected to body. Here is a battery negative cable. It is fixed here. So this gives ground to the starter motor. Now, as you can see, this is free. Let us see the current draw it has when it is free. Let's do calibration of this device. You, by turning this knob, by turning this knob, you can do calibration. Look at the gauge. Now it is on zero. 
when you look at from here it is exactly on zero so it is well calibrated now let us see the current to draw when there is no load let's power it up current draw when there is no load let's do it again so it's around 100 ampere when there is no load it's running free now let us apply load Let's apply load. By turning this, now the flywheel is free to rotate. Now as you can see, the flywheel is free to rotate. But by turning this knob, we will be applying pressure. Now it is not free to rotate. Now, let's do the load test. You will see the current draw with this arrangement somewhat increased let's add let's add load again add it now let's see the current draw see it has doubled almost 200 ampere by increasing the load on the starter motor the sound is also changing. If you listen closely, the sound of the starter motor is changing and the current draw is also changing. 200 ampere is being drawn. 200 ampere. By further increasing this load, by further increasing this load and preventing the flywheel from rotating, you can even increase the starter motor current draw. I have slightly increased load on the flywheel. Let's see what current goes to. 300 ampere. So this is how you perform a starter motor load test. As you can see, when the load increases, the starter motor current draw also increases. This is basically because as load increases, the armature will start spinning at low RPM. When the armature is spinning at low RPM, the resistance caused by that inductance will be less. But when the armature is running at high speed, the reactance that is caused by the armature will be higher. That armature reactance will increase entire resistance and current will be higher. So our conclusion is that when the load applied on the starter motor is increasing, so does the current draw. So when there is large compression inside the engine, for example, we will have large current draw. But when there is a small load on the flywheel, that will cause less current draw. For example, if we are comparing a comparable size gasoline and diesel engine, the diesel engines, they have high compression so they require a starter motor that is drawing larger current whereas when it comes to a similar starter motor supplied on a similar comparable size gasoline engine due to that less compression the current draw will be less you have seen that the current draw on the no load test is way smaller than the full current draw on a fully loaded starter motor on the no load test we were somewhere around 100 ampere but on the full load, we have drawn around 300 ampere. So this is how you can see the variation of current draw on a starter motors, depending on the amount of load applied on the flywheel. I hope this is very educational video. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.